Hello Libra, this is Rim from Aces of Rim Tarot and today we're going to do your general love reading. So thank you guys for tuning in, appreciate you so much. Um, only take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, feel free to switch characters, remember energies can be interchangeable and time is fluid so this could be happening in your present, past or future. Um, if this doesn't resonate you can check other tarot readers. Please do like and subscribe to support this channel. So what I'm getting here on this uh, layout we have uh, for you Libra. Someone is going to flirt and extend their light-hearted energy to you. Okay, so you can um, interchange your the energies if this is you, if this is the other person. They want to reconcile. So someone from your past is returning to your life there was a conflict between you and this other person um, however your family life is is amazing like there's um, you're happy uh, you're you have financial security and um, it comes it keeps coming back the union of hearts a love connection defies explanation so someone from the past here is gonna try to um, flirt with you and op uh, probably offer you this um, offer you this uh, commitment so um, it's saying to focus on love um, Libra look for the good in everyone so we're gonna do your traditional uh, deck reading with Rider Waite all right let's see so our first card is your most prominent feature, which is the Two of Cups. Uh, the highest that you can attain is the Wheel of Fortune. What's underneath here, what's hidden, is the Queen of Cups. In your past is the Sun card. Um, the most probable outcome is the Two of Swords. And this is your forecast for the coming weeks, or the earliest would be in the next two weeks. So the most prominent feature is the two of uh, cups. So this is like reconciling, moving on to the next step in a relationship, forgiving one another, coming together, union with the uh, whispers of love. And it's with the Hierophant. So you found the answers to make the relationship more solid. Um, this could be you going to a priest, you know, um, uh, wedding. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is the highest that you can attain. So the wheels are turning in your favor, Libra. Fortune is on your side. And um, something will change. Um, it's going to be in your favor. And it's it's with the hermit so this will allow you to see your path um, this is also you uh, seeing the path unfold um, for you so uh, one step at a time um, Libra and then we have the what's underneath here what's hidden is the Queen of Cups this is this is the energy of uh, water sign so being um, Scorpio, Pisces, or Libra it could be dealing with that person, and on the moon, it's paired with the moon. So um, there's a focus here of something that is hidden. So things will come to light. Don't worry. So it's gonna the wheel's gonna turn your favor. You will see what is really going on here, Libra. Um, and yeah, so have the patience to understand what is going on. That's what the Queen of Cups. So, um, and don't be over sensitive uh, with the Queen of Cups because she can be uh, she can be over sensitive. The Queen of Cups. All right. So in the past, we have the Sun. And this talks about um, very positive energy, like everything is looking good, money, relationship, work, 
everything is balanced. And um, I see here, see here, Libra, that you were able to manifest that, and you feel very content and happy uh, with what is going on around you. Everything is fair and square, and with your family and friends. And then we have um, the most probable outcome is the Two of Swords. So <clears throat> this talks about letting things unfold, um, not minding really what's wrong, right? So try to also see the red flag in a relationship if, if this is someone from the past coming in because this is also the Wheel of Fortune here and reconciliation coming in together. Um, try to also... Um, let's see if there's something here yeah try to also make sure that the red flags are raised but focus on love look for the good in everyone um, yeah be open all right so the for the coming weeks we have the eight of swords so this is you being in a mental prison because this this is um, Soros. Uh, she's being caged and wrapped in a loose tissue paper, I think, and isolating herself. Um, let's see. So you feel like you're not you're not good enough, but you are. You you are amazing. You have everything that you need. You can manifest things. You have the knowledge to do it and the passion. So do not do not hide yourself. Get out of your shell, um, Libra. That's what it's saying. And then we have the world. So the world talks about completion. Um, you have attained financial, spiritual. Like it's something that will allow you to go to the new chapter in your life. Um, it's it could be you blocking someone, right? Um, and just focusing on your spirituality, on your growth. Um, and it's paired with the Four of Pentacles. So you are not extending yourself here, um, uh, Libra. So you're focused on this new chapter and not really allowing yourself to get you're not giving yourself you're not extending yourself to others so yeah you're being asked to extend your light-hearted energies to others so you might be closing yourself off but let's try to clarify that if we can find more information okay i'm going to use this one so the world card and the four of uh, we have the lovers oh this is your soulmate and the hermit so um find the answers that you need to find for the soulmate for this reconciliation um, and extend yeah this could be your soulmate so allow yourself allow yourself to extend you know give more of yourself share yourself to this person um, but also also take care of yourself with the hermit so some self-discovery both is needed to have a more um, understanding towards being in a relationship with someone. So Libra, thank you so much. And um, thank you for watching. I appreciate you so much. See you next time, guys. Uh, please hit like and subscribe. And yes, thank you. Bye.